Hey, 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 and welcome back to the channel, everybody. This is a short video talking about how I isolate my 12 volt DC 180 watt wiper worm drive motors from my other motors and from my metal frame on my platform. Why do we need to do this? We need to do this to protect our H-bridges. With our motion sims, our H-bridges control direction. They control reverse and forward direction on our motors. So this changes the polarity of our motors and this can become a problem if our motors are case ground. In this case, all my motors are case ground. Meaning if I place these straight onto my metal uh, platform, they would in essence end up energizing the frame because the H-bridges command the polarity of the motors to be reversed frequently and simultaneously with each other, meaning that motors are changing polarity from their ground to positive frequently, and this energizes the frame and in turn can get back to your H bridges, in our case, IBT2s. I'm not sure how this affects the 2x32 Sabre Tooth, as that's not a H bridge, but definitely H bridges, this will take them out. Just this very thing has happened with me and my traction loss motor, so it does happen. This is just a method of doing this without pulling the wiper motors apart, which many people do and isolating their grounds. I don't do that because grounds are grounds and grounds and electricity is always going to earth and I think you'll just end up heating up your motors if you try and isolate the grounds. This is a simple, effective, proven way to isolate your motors from each other and your frame uh, and it works. My sim has been uh, used in this way now guys for over 12 months and it gets smashed. It gets rigorously put through its paces and the hardwood timber is well and truly up to the task. So this is what this is all about. Now what I use, the materials I use to mount my motors is a hardwood Merbau timber decking. This is it here, it's painted. It's 20 millimeters thick. It's 140 millimeters in width and just cut to the size I need for my motors. Anything that uh, comes from my motors, for example, where the lever is welded onto the motor shaft, you can see there the lever, it connects to the push rod here that goes to the top frame via that metal bracket to push the top frame around for our pitch and roll, etc. But that metal bracket is then fixed into, again, the Merbau bracket, timber bracket to isolate that motor from the left-hand side motor and from the rest of the frame. The rear traction loss motor. Get some light on here, there it is, hiding under, yes, another piece of 20 mil by 140 Merbau bracket that's attached to the mid frame. Anything from that motor, it's motor lever, you can see there, that comes across, attaches to the push rod, and then that push rod, again, is attached to some hardwood timber over there. So it's isolated completely and anything associated with that motor is isolated from the frame. Same with the new surge axis motor here. You can see there on timber. And then of course anything associated with that motor, it's lever. So where the shaft comes out with that 12 millimeter rod there, connects to the lever, which in turn connects to for want of a better word, that 25 millimeter by 25 millimeter box that uh, pushes the uni joint trolley rail carriage. That is attached again to some hardwood via a tie rod. So again, everything with the motor and everything associated with the motor is isolated via the Merbau timber bracketing. Has to be hardwood guys, because it's gotta be strong. Now, what happened with my rear traction loss motor? Although it was isolated on the Merbau, I was doing some adjustments on my motor lever on the traction loss motor. I was using a spanner. I had my computer turned on. I had the Arduinos plugged in. I had my power supplies turned on. That was a silly thing to do. I should have had everything turned off. And when I was working on the lever, undoing a nut, I came in contact with my frame, with the spanner, and it immediately took out the IBT2. So this does happen guys and this is an effective proven way to isolate your motors using hardwood timber saving you the issue and the hassle of having to pull your motors apart. I hope this has been a help. I hope this has been informative and this is what you'll do going forward in this build. You guys stay safe.
you stay healthy and you take it easy out there.